morning, Saugus. I'm Danny Willard, and today is Tuesday, February 16th. And I'm Jake Schick, and today is National Do a Grouch a Favor Day. So do something that will make a grouch's day and post that on social media. Maybe tell Mark Zuckerberg that Kanye needs a billion dollars for his ideas. Yeah, let's start our war with Kanye. Just kidding, Kanye, we love you. What? Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Starting today, Key Club will be running the Pennies for Patients fundraiser to help raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Each week over the next three weeks, the second period class that raises the most money by Friday will get donuts. And at the end of the three-week period, the class that raises the most money overall will get a pasta party. And now for your scholarship news. Are you listening, Connie? Graduating Filipino seniors with at least a 3.5 GPA can apply for the Phil M Association of SEV Incorporated. The deadline for the submission is February 29th. For more information and an application form, Please contact your counselor or send an email request to the Philem Association Committee at the email address listed below. If you're a graduating senior and a dependent of the member of CSEA Chapter 349, you can apply to receive one of four $250 scholarships. Applications are due on March 11th. An application packet may be picked up in the counseling office. We'll be right back after this. My ADD makes it impossible to focus. Don't they get it? I get depressed about everything. No one feels like I do. My brother is autistic. No one knows what that's like. I've been bipolar my whole life. It's so hard on my friends and family. I have anorexia. I can't tell anyone. I get so anxious. I can't stand it. No one ever seems to care. My OCD annoys everybody. I don't have any friends. I'm suicidal. Would anyone care if I were gone? I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel the same way. Yeah, that's totally me. Thanks for having my back. Students whose parents work for the police, sheriff, or fire department can apply for the $1,000 scholarship, which could lead to another $4,000 award. The deadline is March 25th. See application information at the site listed below. The Shell Oil Company Technical Scholarship is offering $2,500 awards to 20 applicants. The deadline is March 3rd. The sixth annual Imagination Begins With You, a high school writing contest this year. To enter, you must write a short story of less than 1,000 words. First place winner receives $250, and second place winner receives $50. Entries should be postmarked or emailed at by March 15th. The Not One More Teen Suicide Club is offering the $500 1,000th Man Scholarship to Saga Seniors. See Mr. Stradley in B207 at the Counseling Office for more information. The CSU Channel Islands offers an excellent President Scholar Program scholarship each year. If a student has a GPA of 3.75 or higher and is a resident of California and a business major, they have an opportunity to apply for the scholarship. The scholarship is based on merit and will be awarded whether or not a student has financial need. For more information and full details, visit the site listed below. And now let's go to Christian Volo with your sports news. Hey, Saugus, I'm Christian Vola here with your sports news. Congratulations to boys soccer and girls basketball for making playoffs. Good luck, guys. Frosh and JV girls soccer will be having a scrimmage today at Central Park at 315. Where, where's the next to nut? Oh, that, okay. Well, uh, that's all sports news. Are you a girl approaching the age of 18? Well, pay attention as this next clip directly affects you. Good morning, Saugus. Christian Vola here, reporting for SNN. As American citizens, we all know what the Selective Service is. We've even learned it from here on SNN. You know, this video. I want you. Yeah, that video. 
Anyways, currently the selective service is for men only, but in the recent months, there's been talk amongst the military and the Senate about having women also register for the selective service. Time Magazine reported that Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter announced that the U.S. military is open to all members of the armed forces. This means that women will have the right to serve in every position in the U.S. military, but rights and responsibilities go hand in hand. Women must now also share the responsibility to be called upon to serve and defend their country in the event that a draft is required. The thought of having both men and women in the selective service together is a revolutionary one. And I was interested in knowing what your thoughts would be, Sagas. Here's what you said. Do you think women should also register for the selective service? Yes, I do. Why? It makes it equal for everybody. That's a good answer. How about you? Yes. Most certainly. Why so? Because feminists want equal rights. Yes. Why? Because women are equal to men, feminism. Do you think women should register for the selective service? No one should register for the selective service. No one should register for the selective service. Why? Well, if the war is not worth fighting to the public, then it's not worth fighting at all. Our rights as Americans increase in quantity almost every year. Having women join in on the selective service may just be the next one. For SNN, this has been Christian Vola, signing off. Thanks, Chris, for that informative piece. The AP exam registration deadline is March 18th at 1 p.m. sharp. Forms may be picked up by the students in the counseling office, and the exams may be paid for in the ASB office. The mandatory AP exam pre-administration session is Wednesday, April 13th at 7 a.m. in the gym. Are you interested in serving in one of the branches of the military? If so, please go to the counseling office and sign up for the ASVAB test on Thursday, March 3rd in the S Lecture Hall from 1 to 4 p.m. The ASVAB test scores in four critical areas, arithmetic reasoning, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, and mathematics knowledge, and counts towards the armed forces qualifying test scores. The test also determines how qualified you are for certain military occupation specialties and enlistment bonuses. If you haven't ordered your cap and gown yet, please see Mrs. Downing in the Registrar's Office for ordering information. March 1st is the deadline for ordering. Seniors, if you have not completed the diploma name form handed out in government and econ classes, please go to the Registrar's Office at brunch or lunch. If you've ordered anything from Jostens, they will be here at brunch and lunch on Wednesday, February 24th to deliver items. Well, that's all for today. I'm Jake Schick. And I'm Danny Willard. Stay tuned for your club news.